Hello, Alex here. This is the first tutorial how to create third-person shooting game Unity. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use animation controller to create a basic movement for our main character. By the end tutorial, we're going to see our character moving around and running around like this. Without any further ado, let's jump right in how to do this. Let's start by create a new scene. So I'm going to file a new scene and uh, I'm going to save it as a demo scene. So the next thing is I'm going to create a ground. So come to game object, 3D object, and cube, and I'm going to rename it as, uh, as ground. Change the scale to 100% for x exit and 100% uh, for z exit. And the next thing is. Uh, I'm going to change the Y position to minus 0.5. So make sure it's aligned to the uh, the horizontal ground. So next thing is I'm going to direction light and change intensity to 0.5. Otherwise, to shining light, we can't see anything. So after that, we're going to create a, another cube here and uh, change the y position to 0.5 and x position to 0, z position to 2. So this cube just like a pivot point to see our character moving around it. So next thing is I'm going to drag and drop our main character onto the ground. So let's go into the model folder and looking for this basegirl.fbx file and drag onto the scene and make sure it's uh, position is all point zero and uh, probably I'm going to drag the cube a little bit not to block our main card so So next thing is uh, I'm going to position the main character to follow the uh, main character. So I'm going to create a new game project called uh, Camera Base. Then I'm going to looking for a script and the standard asset folder and, and the cameras and, and the scripts. So there is a called a water cam script. I'm gonna drag this onto our character. Sorry, the camera base object. Uh, I'm gonna drag our main character to this uh, target. So to drag over here and then enable the script, and then I'm going to just move the main character as child of this character base object. So this character base object going to follow our main character. It's going to maintain the position as the oversight. And uh, the tricky part is uh, we're going to drag our main camera and change its offset position to this uh, character base to to the distance we want for our for our camera, so maybe I'll change the Y position to two, and I'm going to rotate 180 degree, so it's point to our main character, and uh, change the X rotation a little bit, so it's facing direct to our main card. So if we start to play the game. We're going to see it's actually facing our main character. And uh, if you come to the scene here, and if you're trying to drag our main character, you'll see the camera is following the main character. Okay, good. All looks good. So the next thing we're going to come to configure our main character. So I'm going to go to component and the physics and create a rigid body 
So I'm going to change mass to 50 and uh, freeze rotation, X, Y, Z rotation. And the next thing is I'm going to create another physical component, which is uh, collider. So I'm looking for capsule collider. And then I'll change the height to 1.8. So this is the real world height for the character and uh, center to point 0.9 and uh, we can see this inside the scene so I'm probably going to reduce the uh, radius down a bit to point 0.2 that looks good okay so upset the only thing we need to do for uh, we're going to create a new animator controller so let's come to this controller folder I'm just going to create a new animator controller I'll just call this demo animator controller and uh, I'm going to drag this new controller to our character in the scene and double click it so next thing is I'm going to create a different state for the animation I'll just uh, come to our character and looking for animations you see there is a cup animation and what we interest uh, is uh, idle animation and uh, walk animation and run animation so I'm uh, just looking for idle animation. I'm going to drag into the save. So this is a default state. I'm going to drag the run animation into the scene as well. And the uh, next is a walk animation. So for this basic animation controller, I'll just make a simple transition between different states. For next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a band tree so we have much smooth animation between the different states. So between these three different animation states, I'll just uh, create a transition between each of them. So we're going to have six transitions. going to delete this one and uh, from idle back to walk okay that's good so for each transition we have uh, option called uh, has exit time so we need to uncheck this option the reason is uh, the animation will continue play before the transition can happen so we need to do this for each of the transition here and check each of them And the next thing is we need to set a condition for the transition. So we're going to create a new Google the forward. So another variable called the run. And we're going to set a condition for transition from idle to walk. So we need to set forward to true and the run to false. And from walk back to idle, it needs to be forward to force and uh, run to force. And from walk to, sorry, from run to walk, it needs to be forward to force, sorry, forward to true and the run to run to force. And from walk to run, it should be forward to true and uh, run to true as well from run back to idle is going to be forward to force and uh, run need to be force and from idle to run it need to be forward to true and run to true as well so it's all been set up properly so the next thing is we need to go back to the demo thing here and click the 
space girl object and then we need to create a script for control our animator so we actually already have a script created before so i'm just simply drag this onto our space girl object because i want to save some time by just uh, typing the script so by now typing the script from scratch so let's have a look what's inside the script so here we have a reference to the animator and the rigid body and we assign the both variable inside the star function and also in the update function we grab the, the user input for the horizontal and vertical direction and also if the user types the key code R then it will toggle the run state and after that we're going to send the value back to the animator the next part is uh, we're going to grab the delta position from the animator and divide by the delta time. So this is uh, the velocity will be applied to the rigid body. And then we control the rotation state for the transformation. So let's have a look at the play. So we can see the, our character can rotate its transition and uh, walking around and running around okay cool so this is the end of this tutorial and uh, in next tutorial we're going to show you how to use a blending tree to control the animator